If you're wondering if WoW is currently good, right now 1.15 is what the beginning of the expansion should have been. In the very beginning, PvP vendors weren't even a thing until complaints came in and then gear was poorly itemized and it had to be fine-tuned when it was added. So yeah, you see all this PvP gear wasn't here. And when it first was out, didn't have verse gear. So all the items had to have verse added onto them. Blizzard knows of this and they are making these flaws with the intent of fixing it later as a reason to come back. Because to them, if they don't do it now at the very start of the expansion, a year down the road, they could be like, hey, we're listening to what you have to say. We're helping fix the game. Even the problems they knew from the pretty much almost the beta, they knew of these problems and they finally fixed them. It's been 406 days since release of Shadowlands and a new expansion is coming soon. What did they add? Instant 40 renown, conduits to 200 item level, meaning all your conduits are gonna be 200 item level. PvP gamble tokens. <laughs> buy a chest it can give you a random piece of gear and they're all going to be pretty good because they all have first on them again so it's worthwhile and it's very cheap but again gamble increase the item level on lower tier items so that the higher tier items aren't so ridiculous comparably again this is mostly pvp stuff that's what i really care about conquest has no cap until 9.2 so that's nice you can endless farm no cap on your weekly both honor and conquest is also increased by 40 percent as well so that's huge would love to see it be a little bit higher, but still pretty good. So there are more changes to come in 9.2. A lot more things that a lot of people are excited about. I think they're gonna add a second legendary. They're gonna have another system. I don't think conduits are really gonna be a thing anymore, I think, at that point. I think they're gonna have another system. So like, it's kind of like BFA when you got your net piece and you unlocked everything for your Azrite and then they introduced the cloak, the new legendary. There's a whole nother system. I think they're doing something like that but I could be wrong. So when that releases, I don't know how friendly that's gonna be. They're adding a whole new system you have to farm for. Most, I don't know why Blizzard hasn't got this yet. A lot of people don't like farming for the same thing that doesn't help like your alts at all. Like the first time doing it is pretty fun. Doing it a second time, yeah, you, you might, I might quit the game. A third one, yeah, I'm gonna quit the game. And that's a lot of mindsets, a lot of people, and they just go copium mode and say, maybe next expansion will be better. And you know what? I'm in that boat too. Maybe next expansion will be better. But Blizzard has this really big problem of when they, they're introducing a whole system that no one asked for, let's be real, and they don't have a good way to make it friendly on their player. Blizzard keeps introducing this systems of something that is pretty mundane, like doing the content, doing your dailies or whatever to keep up. It's pretty easy. It's very casual, but not because you have to do it every single day. And if you want to have alts, you got to even do it even more on the other characters. And it gets really tedious. But as I was saying, Blizzard tends to add these new systems. They don't really have a good way to help people to get it up on their alts because a lot of people love alts. People start crying. A year and a half later, Blizzard starts listening. Hey, look, big patch coming out. All the stuff you asked for literally a year ago. Sorry, we were working on the next expansion. I don't, I don't think it would take a whole lot of time to do an increase on whatever currency it is that people need, but I feel like that should be very easy. And after they finish everything, before you know it, expansion's over. And rinse and repeat, this has probably been happening in the past three or four expansions, and it's just non-stop. We just feel like a money bag at this point, but god dang, I love WoW. There's no other game to play. I'm gonna be real. Not a whole lot of other games I could play. I'm gonna be also real. You guys won't watch me play any other game. <laughs> So is WoW worth coming back to right now? Yeah, for sure. Probably play it until 9-2 and then see how you like that. If you like it, continue playing. Obviously, if you don't, quit. Wait. Wait until next expansion. Wait until the new content. I don't think there's anything necessarily wrong with that. I don't think there's anything wrong with the game even sucking because, you know, Blizzard's going to fix the problem, hopefully, a year later, maybe two years. But the expansion's over. Right now, I'm just kind of just waiting to play Lost R. I was going to give Final Fantasy a try until apparently they couldn't sell anymore because the servers were too full or something like that. Again, the kind of backtrack, I don't really want to backtrack, but that's pretty much all I do. It wouldn't be so bad if your class and it sucked. So if you end up playing a class that sucks and you put all this effort into it and Blizzard doesn't care, you just wasted so much time and it's very discouraging to even want to start another character. It's also one of the biggest reasons why you should be alt friendly because you know class design isn't always going to be the best. It's kind of like RNG lottery the moment you pick a class. Is it going to suck? Is it going to do well? No, maybe you should just play Rogue Mage if you really care about your class duo as well because those two classes always freaking bang. Always. If you play as classes, screw you besides my girlfriend. I've been an enhancement shaman. I have ups and downs. 
I get kind of tired that my whole go can get destroyed by one ability called Disarm. Uh, yo, Rip out is fine, by the way! I didn't get to play the game, dude! I just wish there was something else I could do. Having Wind Fairy goes? Kind of sucks. And it also feels like right now that cooldowns kind of mean everything in the game as well. Nothing really happens outside. Stuff only happens when people do pop stuff. That's very bad game design. So Blizzard has a lot of work to do. I hope they continue to do better. I don't know. You're 15. I really don't know. I, I just want them to do better. But if they don't, I'll still play. I'll probably unsubscribe. I'll probably complain here and there. Just like everyone else, but you know, I'll eventually come back. Anyways guys, if you enjoyed this video or agree with what I said, or you just want to have your own take, go ahead and comment down below. I do read comments, I don't respond to everything. I feel like I'm a robot and I respond, yes, I agree, to a lot of you guys. So I just don't want to do that, but anyways, I hope you guys have a good day. Peace. By the way, watch this video. I'm going to put it in arena gameplay right here, just so I can hit the 8 minute mark. I want to spam ads. That's, that's literally the only way I can survive, so, you know, please watch it.